Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, my name is Takeshi Yagi, DG for Economic Affairs uh, of the Japanese uh, uh, Foreign Ministry. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to give you a brief uh, sketch of uh, uh, what is uh, likely to uh, take place uh, in Deauville uh, at the G8 summit uh, this year and uh, what is likely to be uh, Japan's uh, inputs uh, for, for the G8 summit. Uh, but uh, let me uh, stress uh, at the outset that uh, what I'm going to explain to you today is a kind of uh, uh, snapshot uh, at this moment. Uh, and uh, uh, everything is uh, actually subject to, to change uh, because uh, uh, the preparations uh, of this summit uh, will be going on until uh, the last minute and uh, can be affected on uh, what uh, uh, might happen uh, in the meantime, of course. And uh, ultimately, uh, the discussions are up to the leaders uh, themselves. So. Uh, uh, it is uh, it is uh, not so easy for us to predict uh, uh, what what will actually happen and what uh, kind of discussions the leaders will actually have. But uh, on on that basis, uh, I'd like to give you uh, well a picture which uh, we think uh, is most likely uh, at this stage. Uh, I think we have distributed uh, two pages of handouts. Uh, let me uh, start with uh, uh, the schedule of uh, Mr. Khan's uh, trip uh, to, to Europe. I, I think you already have this uh, table. Um, well, uh, as uh, you uh, must have already uh, 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 heard, uh, Mr. Khan uh, will depart, uh, <coughs> will leave uh, uh, Tokyo on Tuesday, May 24th and uh, his official programs will start uh, the following day uh, on uh, May 25th uh, with uh, the bilateral visit to France, uh, which is uh, the, the presidency of this year's G8 summit. Uh, Prime Minister Khan was invited by President Sarkozy uh, when uh, President visited Japan uh, at the end of March, as you, uh, as you recall. And uh, uh, Prime Minister will also attend uh, the 50th anniversary of the uh, OECD e e Ministerial uh, Council. Uh, well, this will, be, this will actually be the, the first visit by a Japanese Prime Minister uh, to the uh, uh, OECD. And uh, uh, the OECD celebrates uh, the 50th anniversary uh, this year, and there will be some uh, special, uh, special session uh, for the uh, uh, for, for for the anniversary uh, at 5 p.m. and uh, uh, Mr. Khan will attend that part of uh, the uh, ministerial meeting. Uh, according to the information from the OECD Secretariat, uh, uh, some other uh, heads of state and government uh, are likely to attend this part, uh, including uh, uh, President Sarkozy and uh, uh, President Barroso of the EU Commission, uh, European Commission, and some other uh, leaders uh, from uh, uh, European countries. That's what we, uh, we have heard from the OECD Secretariat. And uh, <coughs> Prime Minister will make a speech in, the, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this part of the uh, OECD uh, ministerial, uh, perhaps touching upon uh, Japan's relation uh, to the OECD, uh, since Japan entered the OECD in 1964. And uh, uh, also, uh, uh, he's likely to, uh, uh, to explain to the, uh, uh, to the OECD member countries about the latest status uh, in Japan after the earthquake and uh, the nuclear uh, incident. Uh, well, I think that his message will be uh, quite similar to what he's going to say at the G8 uh, summit. So uh, let me uh, you know, move to the, to the next uh, you know, uh, uh, calendar, uh, next uh, uh, schedule, uh, that, that is the G8 summit. Uh, the summit will start with the working lunch uh, on 26th uh, and uh, will last until uh, the working dinner. And uh, 
on the second day, on May, May 27th, uh, they, they will have uh, a regular session and a working lunch. Uh, and uh, uh, that working lunch uh, will be closing the G8 summit uh, this year. But the length of the summit, uh, one day uh, and a couple of hours, that is uh, in line with uh, the, uh, uh, the recent practice of, of the G8. Uh, Prime Minister will give a press conference uh, after the G8, and he will uh, uh, be uh, moving uh, to, uh, uh, to Brussels uh, by way of uh, Paris. And on, on Saturday, tw uh, May 28th, uh, he will be having a Japan-EU summit meeting uh, with uh, President Barroso and President Van Rompuy, uh, followed by uh, a working lunch uh, and the, the uh, joint press conference. And uh, of course, you know, at the uh, Japan EU summit, uh, the focus will be uh, uh, strengthening of the overall uh, relations uh, between Japan and the EU. And uh, uh, an important element uh, of that. Uh, of that overall uh, relationship is uh, Japan EU EPA, and uh, we have been making the last ditch effort uh, to uh, uh, have uh, political agreement uh, on the start of the negotiations of the Japan EU uh, EPA. Uh, that's a brief uh, 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 explanation on uh, Prime Minister Khan's schedule. He'll be uh, returning to Tokyo on Sunday, May uh, 29th. And then uh, let me turn to uh, the G8 uh, itself. Well, uh, from uh, our viewpoint, uh, this uh, summit will be of, uh, uh, of great significance uh, in the sense that uh, uh, it will be the first gathering of uh, the leaders uh, after the great East Japan earthquake. But perhaps from the uh, viewpoint of the other uh, G8 uh, leaders, uh, it will be uh, also uh, important uh, in view of uh, historic changes uh, in the Middle East and uh, North, uh, North Africa. So uh, we uh, expect that uh, the main issues uh, at the G8 uh, summit uh, this year will be uh, of course, you know, from, uh, from our perspective, uh, uh, Japan's uh, well, uh, reconstruction efforts uh, from the uh, earthquake and earthquake tsunami and, uh, and the nuclear incident, uh, but also uh, the issue of uh, nuclear safety and uh, perhaps uh, uh, the Middle East and North Africa. And uh, we understand that uh, the, the French presidency uh, also attaches uh, great importance to Africa. So th th that means uh, there will be uh, approximately uh, three pillars uh, in this year's G8 summit. Uh, nuclear safety, uh, MENA region, Middle East and North Africa, and, uh, and Africa. Those uh, will be the pillars of uh, of the G8 this year. That, that's our ex expectation at this uh, at this moment. And uh, as I said, uh, when uh, uh, President Sarkozy was here, <coughs> he uh, invited uh, Prime Minister uh, to make uh, his presentation at the very outset uh, of the G8 summit. Uh, and uh, as is written here. Uh, Prime Minister Khan's uh, statement will kick off the, the summit meeting. And uh, uh, we uh, expect uh, at this uh, moment that uh, perhaps uh, Prime Minister Khan will refer to, uh, uh, let's say, uh, three uh, issues. Uh, the first one is, of course, uh, the actual or the latest status of the stabilization uh, of the situation uh, in and around the nuclear plant. And uh, the second point uh, he's going to make is, of course, his determination uh, to uh, move ahead with uh, the reconstruction uh, of 
uh, the affected areas, as well as uh, the strengthening of the Jap Japanese economy as a whole. And the, th uh, and the third point is that uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, is going to present uh, his ideas on uh, broad directions on uh, Japan's uh, energy uh, policy. Uh, Prime Minister Khan uh, stated uh, in his uh, uh, press, uh, press interview uh, a couple of days ago uh, that uh, uh, he would like to uh, focus more on renewable energies and uh, uh, energy uh, conservation or energy uh, saving in addition to uh, improved security uh, in terms of uh, nuclear energy and uh, green utilization of uh, uh, fossil uh, fuels. So uh, we expect that in his statement uh, on or in his message on the new, uh, new uh, energy policy, uh, there will be perhaps uh, four elements. Uh, if I'm, I may repeat, uh, improved uh, uh, safety for nuclear uh, energy and uh, uh, greener use of uh, fossil fuels and uh, 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 promo uh, promotion of uh, or further promotion of re renewable energies and uh, more uh, energy uh, conservation and, and saving. That will be the main points uh, uh, he's, uh, he's likely to make uh, with regard to the uh, energy energy uh, policy. And uh, uh, after, you know, uh, that part of the uh, working luncheon uh, titled Solidarity with Japan, uh, we expect that uh, the leaders will touch upon uh, the state of the uh, global uh, economy. Uh, there are some uh, downside risks, uh, as, uh, as is written uh, here uh, on the paper. And uh, uh, leaders will certainly have a look at uh, the prospect of, of the world economy. And uh, uh, during the discussions, uh, Prime Minister Khan uh, intends to, uh, uh, to uh, point out that Japan is open for business and tourism, and that uh, uh, Japan's economy is picking up uh, quite rapidly. And uh, one more point in the uh, uh, in the global economy is uh, the is the WTO uh, Doha Development Round. Uh, as you are uh, uh, already aware, uh, the Doha Round is at a critical uh, stage uh, or at the, at the crossroads, uh, and uh, uh, there will be some ministerial discussions uh, on the future of uh, of the Doha Round uh, next week. Uh, on the margins of uh, of the OECD ministerial, and actually there are uh, discussions going on right now uh, in Big Sky Montana in the United States, uh, within the framework of uh, uh, APEC uh, uh, ministerial meeting uh, for trade. Uh, so after uh, those uh, ministerial meetings, uh, we expect that uh, the G8 leaders will discuss uh, how to deal with this uh, critical situation. Uh, with regard to the Doha round, and uh, we hope that uh, a strong message uh, can be sent uh, by the G8 leaders uh, to the world. Uh, that is about uh, the global uh, economy. Excuse me for a while. The uh, next uh, uh, issue uh, will be uh, nuclear uh, safety. And uh, uh, following the, uh, uh, the accident uh, in uh, Fukushima Daiichi, uh, this is uh, an issue of great concern to all the G8 uh, members. Uh, so uh, we expect that there will be uh, some uh, convergence on the necessity to improve the safety standards uh, with regard to the uh, uh, nuclear power plants 
uh, and uh, uh, Prime Minister will certainly uh, uh, repeat uh, his determination uh, to uh, uh, share all the information in a very transparent way uh, and uh, also share the lessons uh, drawn from uh, this accident with the other countries. Uh, but of course, you know, G8 uh, is not, uh, well, is not an uh, expert forum. Uh, so uh, uh, we expect that the leaders will instruct uh, or task out, uh, let's say, uh, the more detailed work on the nuclear safety uh, to, the, uh, uh, to other international organizations, particularly uh, IAEA. And uh, 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 on May, uh, sorry, on June 7th and 8th, uh, the OECD and France will organize uh, a meeting of uh, uh, regulators of uh, nuclear power plants uh, in Paris. And there will be an IAEA ministerial meeting in Vienna uh, on 22nd uh, to 24th in June. So uh, uh, what we expect is that uh, the, the G8 leaders will instruct uh, those uh, uh, expert organizations or expert uh, meetings uh, to uh, elaborate on how we can uh, improve the safety uh, standard uh, for uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, that will be uh, the uh, direction of the discussion on nuclear uh, safety. And uh, uh, please turn to the uh, uh, next page. Uh, the leaders will, will also discuss uh, the role of internet uh, in, in, in the world. Uh, not only the uh, e economic role, but also uh, the political uh, role of, of the internet. Uh, when uh, the French presidency uh, proposed uh, this uh, uh, this uh, issue uh, at, at the beginning of this year, uh, we uh, we had expected that uh, uh, this internet issue uh, would be playing a, a very uh, big role uh, in the uh, uh, discussions of the G8 summit uh, this year. But uh, as as is often the case. Uh, the circumstances ha have changed uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a lot. Uh, we had a big uh, earthquake, and uh, uh, there have been a series of uh, very important, uh, you know, changes in the Middle East and North Africa. So uh, uh, the uh, the status of of the uh, internet uh, uh, agenda, uh, well, uh, seems to have been a little bit uh, reduced uh, in comparison to the original, uh, you know, idea. But there will be uh, perhaps uh, uh, some discussions with, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, top leaders of uh, uh, IT uh, uh, companies uh, with, uh, well, between those top leaders uh, of the IT economy and uh, G8 uh, uh, leaders, because uh, uh, those uh, uh, IT leaders will meet uh, in Paris just before the G8 summit. And uh, uh, the next uh, issue will be the Middle East and North Africa. And as I have already uh, mentioned a number of times, uh, this will be, a, well, I shouldn't say the most, but uh, uh, one of the uh, most important uh, uh, issues uh, in this year's uh, G8. Uh, there will be a quite a long uh, discussion, maybe during the uh, working uh, dinner uh, on, the, on the first day, uh, on a number of countries uh, which, which have been uh, going through uh, very drastic uh, changes uh, in, in the recent months. And uh, uh, of course, you know, in terms of uh, 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 diplomacy and particularly, uh, you know, uh, Military actions, uh, Japan's role might uh, might be quite limited, but uh, uh, in other areas uh, such as uh, uh, capacity building, or improved government, or economic uh, development, uh, I think uh, there is uh, ample room for us 
uh, contributing to the stability of the region. And Mr. Khan will certainly uh, explain uh, to the other leaders about uh, what Japan has been doing in this region and what uh, we are going to do uh, in the future. And uh, uh, as a standard uh, item of the G8, we are also uh, uh, we're expecting the leaders to discuss various uh, regional uh, issues. And of course, from our viewpoint, uh, we will certainly raise uh, the issue uh, of North Korea, uh, including uh, uh, its uranium enrichment uh, program and the uh, abduction uh, issue. Uh, and of course, you know, other G8 countries uh, are likely to raise uh, other issues as well. And uh, uh, the, the next uh, uh, pillar or set of uh, uh, issues uh, will be uh, on Africa. I think there will be uh, two, uh, let's say, uh, uh, streams of discussions. Uh, the one stream uh, will be on uh, political and uh, security uh, issues. In terms of specific countries, uh, well, uh, leaders are likely to, uh, uh, to, to touch upon uh, the situations uh, in such countries as uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Somalia, and Sudan. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, substantive issues, uh, terrorism, uh, drug trafficking, and piracy. So those are the issues uh, to be discussed in the first stream uh, on, 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 on Africa. And uh, the, the second stream uh, is about uh, uh, economic uh, development. And uh, uh, they will uh, talk about uh, how we can uh, deliver on our commitment on uh, official development assistance, as well as uh, on how uh, we can promote uh, private investment uh, in African uh, countries. And of course, you know, uh, uh, Prime Minister Khan will certainly uh, touch uh, upon our role uh, with regard to uh, TICAD process uh, and uh, Millennium uh, Development uh, Goals. Uh, that will be a, a our contribution uh, uh, with regard to, to Africa. And of course, you know, climate change uh, uh, is uh, is an issue uh, which is inevitable in the recent uh, uh, G8 uh, uh, summit, and uh, uh, we are not yet uh, quite sure where or in the uh, in which session this issue will be uh, uh, will be raised. But uh, uh, if uh, if the leaders are to uh, uh, discuss. Uh, the energy policy, then uh, I think uh, uh, climate change issue uh, is likely to be uh, discussed uh, in, in the course of that uh, discussion. Well, uh, this is roughly uh, uh, how we uh, uh, envisage uh, the discussions uh, to be uh, uh, taking place. And uh, there will be uh, uh, final documents or can be one document. Uh, we are not sure, you know, how many there will be, but there will be uh, documents uh, as uh, as uh, uh, as is the case with uh, the the summitries. Uh, but uh, uh, it often happens that uh, you know uh, uh, one document. Uh, can be you know, combined with other documents, or one document uh, uh, should be separated from the uh, uh, the main body and uh, uh, becomes a standalone uh, document. So uh, perhaps it might be uh, misleading uh, if I uh, say or if I refer to a number of documents uh, today. Uh, we are still uh, working on it uh, under uh, the French uh, presidency. I think I should uh, stop here and uh, I'm pleased to respond to your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Yangi. And uh, now the Q&A session. 
And uh, just before we start, uh, let me tell you just one thing. Um, today's di this briefing, you know, is strictly uh, for the press call. So embassy representatives, uh, please refrain from raising raising your hand. And uh, if you uh, have uh, question, I mean press call, uh, please raise your hand. And uh, when I call upon you, please uh, give uh, us your uh, name and affiliation and ask a question, please. My name is Yoko Kubota from Reuters. Um, I was wondering if you might know anything about whether the issue of um, who will be heading the IMF next will be brought up in the G8. Um, and if so, any, if you might have any idea, any details about that. Thank you. Well, uh, <coughs> It is perhaps uh, quite surprising if the leaders don't uh, touch upon that, that issue, but uh, I really have no idea right now when and how uh, that issue uh, is going to be, to be raised. So the expectation is uh, they will have a talk about it, but exactly how, I have no idea. Siegfried Nittel, freelancer from Germany. Um, in, a, in the position of a new um, IMF um, uh, chief, uh, what, what, what's the position of, uh, of Japan? Does Japan support the Europeans to, for uh, a new European leader of IMF, or, or perhaps do it uh, support uh, um, third country land or uh, country? Uh, um, so it's country uh, um, uh, like uh, also uh, like uh, China, China and Brazil uh, who wants to uh, another leader of the IMF. Well, uh, <coughs> with uh, a lot of names uh, circulated, uh, uh, you know, already, I, uh, I perhaps I should uh, refrain from uh, you know making uh, let's say any. Uh, uh, misleading uh, uh, statement uh, uh, today. Uh, 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 our government will uh, you know, uh, contemplate uh, who will be uh, the most appropriate, uh, uh, let's say, a successor, uh, certainly. But uh, uh, I, I really don't think you know, uh, we are uh, yet at the stage of uh, making any uh, public statement on that issue. I'm sorry. No more? Yes. Um, George Nishama with Dow Jones. Um, <coughs> I'm just wondering, I know that the energy policy is going to be one of the key uh, issues that the Prime Minister will talk about. Um, my question is, w w I know that he's spoken about it over the c couple of uh, couple of weeks uh, in Japan. Can we expect him to go beyond what he's said in Japan, or he would basically explain what he's explained to us uh, in France? Well, uh, <coughs> we all know, uh, you know, uh, in what directions uh, Mr. Khan, uh, let's say, would, would like to go. Uh, he made it very clear. Uh, at the press conference, uh, I think, uh, the, the day before, or yesterday. Uh, he mentioned those uh, four elements. Uh, but uh, how you know, he's going to, uh, to, to present those uh, four elements uh, at the summit, uh, that is uh, still open. How you know, uh, he will uh, combine those elements, uh, that is still an open question. And I have the impression that the uh, Prime Minister himself is uh, 
Well, uh, thinking very hard on the content of his statements uh, at the G8. So uh, perhaps, you know, we really should wait until uh, he himself makes this uh, uh, intervention or uh, the, the statement uh, at the outset of the G8 summit. And we expect that uh, the content of uh, his uh, statement uh, will be uh, uh, briefed to the press uh, after uh, perhaps uh, the first session or, or, or after the second session. Thank you. Um, on the issue of energy and nuclear issues, I was wondering um, what is your expectations in terms of the tones and response from the other G8 member countries? Um, this nuclear accident has caused a lot of trouble throughout the world, um, also affecting businesses in France, um, politics in Germany. Um, will Japan be under fire? Um, what are your expectations in this area? Thank you. Well, uh, <coughs> of course, you know, uh, we uh, expect that uh, uh, there will be uh, positive uh, reactions uh, uh, to uh, Mr. Khan's uh, statement that uh, we'll uh, share all the information and all the lessons uh, on, uh, on and from uh, this uh, incident uh, with the rest of the world. Uh, but uh, when it comes to the uh, actual energy policy, uh, you know, there are uh, different views, uh, even among the G8 uh, countries. Uh, so uh, whatever uh, Prime Minister is going to present uh, in his statement with regard to our future uh, energy policy, uh, I, I don't think there will be uh, any, uh, let's say, uh, uh, criticism uh, from any of the G8 countries uh, unless, you know, uh, Prime Minister Khan goes to the extreme, you know, uh, for example, you know, by saying that uh, we've just uh, abandoned uh, the nuclear energy and uh, just focus on the renewable uh, energies. Uh, you know, he, he has uh, been uh, mentioning four elements. That, that means, uh, you know, uh, whatever the balance uh, between the four elements is, uh, you know, we will continue to uh, depend upon those uh, four pillars of, uh, of uh, energy, let's say, uh, resources. Uh, and, uh, you know, G8 countries, uh, individual G8 countries have uh, different views on, on the energy mix of, uh, well, their energy mix. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I really don't think any country is, is in a position to criticize uh, the energy policies of, uh, of of the other uh, countries. Uh, just imagine that, uh, uh, you know, if uh, uh, Mrs. Merkel refers to uh, its or Germany's uh, you know, energy policy, and uh, uh, it is hard to imagine that uh, she would be, uh, let's say, uh, contradicted by any other leader uh, of G8 members who are, you know, uh, more forthcoming about the use of the uh, nuclear energy. So there will be uh, uh, different views uh, presented uh, during the uh, uh, G8 summit, but uh, I really don't think, uh, you know, uh, uh, criticism will be exchanged uh, with regard to, you know, energy policies of, of uh, uh, G8 countries. French President um, Sarkozy saw in uh, Japan a gra uh, great ally in supporting nuclear um, nuclear um, po uh, policy in uh, um, to develop uh, nuclear energy um, because uh, Japan also had a target of uh, to um, uh, to have uh, in 2030, perhaps 50 percent of uh, of nuclear energy. But now I think it's it seems uh, it's no longer uh, a target. So there was an article in uh, Nikkei 
P uh, President Sarkozy is uh, disappointed about uh, Japan's uh, new position and after the closure of, of or shutdown of uh, Hamaoka plant. Because uh, also France supported with uh, uh, French companies, Afrea, um, uh, um, um, TEPCO very much. And uh, they, so it shows me France was very interested to, uh, for a, a strong um, Japan uh, for uh, Japan for following a strong um, uh, nuclear policy, and now it's different. But what what uh, is there a disagreement now between France and and Japan? No, uh, as I have uh, uh, responded to the uh, uh, previous uh, <coughs> uh, question, uh, there are you know uh, let's say various uh, or diverse mm -hmm. views on on energy policy. You know, even uh, among the uh, G8 uh, uh, member countries, and uh, uh, you know, I, I really don't think you know, uh, you know, any country will be disappointed at uh, uh, you know uh, energy policy statements of uh, you know other uh, G8 uh, G8 countries, you know, unless uh, any country member country goes to the extreme. And uh, I, I really don't think, you know, uh, no country will go to the extreme. So in, in, that, in that sense, you know, uh, perhaps we are different in the energy policies. And uh, uh, there'll be, uh, let's say, uh <coughs> expectations uh, on the side of other G8 member countries. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, we uh, we are quite uh, you know uh, confident that uh, the other G8 countries uh, will respond to Japan's uh, new energy policy uh, when uh, uh, the new policy has been really uh, worked out, and uh, it, it is also the case with the energy policies of other G8 countries. So you know this is a mat not a matter of. Uh, <coughs> You know, support or criticism. You know, it's, it's just about you know, accepting the policies of other countries, and uh, uh, whatever uh, you know, our energy policy will be. Uh, you know, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Khan said that uh, you know we would uh, uh, re-examine our basic uh, energy policy from the scratch. That that uh, it's true that uh, you know he made uh, that that uh, statement. Uh, but uh, whatever the outcome of the review of our energy policy will be, uh, I think you know other G8 countries will re respond, uh, uh, you know, to the content of our new energy policy. If France is interested, well, still uh, continue to, to be interested in, uh, let's say, engaging in the nuclear industry in Japan, then uh, well, uh, they will make their efforts to do so by engaging, for example, in Fukushima, uh, in uh, closing or shutting down uh, the nuclear uh, power plants there, and might be interested in you know, uh, getting some other you know, operations in other uh, uh, nuclear plants in, in Japan. So you know, there are you know, wide-ranging uh, opportunities or possibilities of uh, other G8 countries responding to our uh, new uh, or eventually new energy policy. Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry for the multiple questions. Um, you've just mentioned that um, you don't expect uh, Japan and I guess any G8 member countries to go to the extreme when it comes to energy policy. But I was wondering, um, will Prime Minister Khan be assuring that Japan will stick with nuclear energy, nuclear power? Well, uh, he has been referring to those four pillars. And that uh, implies that, uh, you know, uh, we will continue to, uh, uh, to rely uh, on, on, on nuclear energy. I don't know to what extent, but uh, uh, he uh, hasn't made any statement to the effect that we'll abandon uh, the nuclear energy. Uh, of course, you know, the uh, 
exact content of our new, uh, let's say, of our uh, nuclear energy policy uh, is still open because, uh, as Prime Minister said, uh, we will think about it from, from the scratch. And uh, uh, it will certainly take uh, some time uh, for us to, uh, uh, to, to uh, n- draw some conclusion uh, from, uh, uh, from, from that uh, exercise. Right. With uh, Mr. Yang's permission, I, uh, <coughs> we have, uh, if uh, we have some uh, journalist, journalists from Japanese companies, we can accept his or her question today on one condition, ask in English. <laughs> no more question? All right. Uh, Mr. Yang is a very uh, busy person. Ah. My name is Inamura from uh, Cuba International, uh, Grandma International Correspondent. Uh, my question is very easy. Uh, well recently, the, you know, uh, uh, Russia stopped to send uh, uh, tourists to Japan because of uh, nuclear problem after March 11. Is there any country uh, such kind of Russia is included in this G- D8 country? Uh, uh, Russia is included in G8, mm-hmm. yep. mm-hmm. and then the, any other country stop to send such kind of uh, Japanese uh, tourists to Japan, uh, except uh, Russia, in this G8 country. Well, uh, there have been mm, certain uh, travel guidances uh, uh, issued by uh, other G8 uh, uh, countries as well. Uh, but uh, if my uh, uh, recollection is, is correct, that was not an outright travel ban. Uh, well, of course, you know, travel re- restrictions uh, for certain areas, particularly in and around uh, the Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, but uh, uh, the initial, you know, quite uh, strict uh, uh, travel restrictions have been uh, modified uh, so far. And uh, uh, al- although I'm not uh, directly responsible for you know all those uh, travel guidances, uh, I, uh, I don't think uh, you know uh, uh, there are you know uh, any more strict travel you know restrictions or travel uh, bans. Uh, uh, issued by uh, by other. Uh, G8 uh, member countries. I uh, vividly re- remember that uh, uh, when uh, Secretary uh, Clinton uh, visited uh, uh, Tokyo uh, in the middle of uh, uh, April, uh, the US government uh, uh, eased uh, travel uh, uh, guidances uh, uh, for American visitors uh, 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 who, uh, uh, who uh, uh, wish to, uh, to uh, visit uh, Japan. Uh, so I think uh, the, the trend is uh, quite quite clear. Uh, those restrictions, uh, guidances, uh, have been uh, or uh, continue to be uh, 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 to be uh, eased. Uh, I think that that, that is my uh, my assessment. Okay. Yeah, Nishiyama San Tosu. On the on the nuclear safety issue, <coughs> um, when you mentioned that the, the prime minister is going to. Uh, share information and lessons learned from uh, from Fukushima. In terms of what he will actually be presenting, w- will he be basically explaining, uh, for instance, TEPCO's uh, roadmap to, uh, to, to achieve a, a cool shutdown of the plants and also the government's uh, a roadmap uh, in terms of evacuation? Would that, would that be sort of the content that he will be presenting to the leaders? Well, uh, you know, this uh, working uh, luncheon uh, will be perhaps, you know, at maximum one and one and a half hours, and uh, uh, Mr. Kan, Mr. Khan cannot uh, monopolize, uh, you know, this uh, working lunch. So I expect that uh, you know his statement uh, will be, uh, you know, something around uh, ten minutes or so, uh, and. Uh, 
uh, if uh, he uh, wants to include, you know, not only uh, the nuclear issue, but also, you know, Japan's uh, uh, reconstruction and uh, uh, Japan's new uh, energy uh, policy, I, I, I don't think uh, it would be, uh, uh, you know, uh, possible uh, to uh, go into details of uh, individual uh, elements. So uh, if uh, there is any new uh, development, for example, on the uh, a uh, roadmap uh, for the stabilization of the nuclear plants. He might uh, introduce it, at least uh, the essence of of the new uh, uh, plan uh, to uh, to the other uh, leaders. Uh, but uh, my expectation is that uh, uh, perhaps he, he will have no time to go into details. Okay. So it's about time, I think. So let's finish here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.